wheelchairs and folding mobility scooters. I'm Kevin with All Star Medical and one of the biggest questions we get, uh, whether it's phone calls, chats, emails, is they want to know about all these new folding power wheelchairs and folding mobility scooters and what are the features and benefits. So we've got about seven that we're going to go over today just to show you just the little differences in, in all these type of uh, chairs. I do like to mention first off, the difference between a power chair and a scooter is really simple. All power chairs have a joystick, okay? Where a mobility scooter has handlebars. So that's the best way to, to look at that is, you know, that it's gonna have handlebars versus joystick. That's how you ask. If you're asking somebody for one or you wanna do some research on it, um, tell them, hey, I want one with a joystick or I want them with handlebars. So the one I'll show you today, this is the, uh, start out with, this is the EWM45 by E-Wheels. This is their folding power wheelchair. This has a 400 pound weight capacity. Um, I do like to mention, you know, it's got a pretty good size seat. It can handle 400 pounds, but I don't know if necessarily somebody weighing 400 pounds can get between the arms but it does have a 400 pound weight capacity. It's got large rear wheels, goes up to 3.7 miles an hour, and it has a travel range of 15.5 miles. Um, your rear wheels are 12 inch and your front are eight. Your turning radius on this is 31. Um, overall weight uh, of the chair is 59 pounds. So it's not too heavy. Um, your seat width is 19, but you know, you you're gonna be able to do some stuff in this that maybe you can't always do in some of these other power wheelchairs. I like to show the little compartment on the back here. This is where I always recommend keeping the charger at. You can keep it there. Um, that way you don't have to worry about anything. If you ever run out of battery, you've always got the charger with you. It has a simple fold function right here. It's just a lever. You just do this and fold down, okay? So 59 pounds. And then there's your width right there. So very easy to fold up and unfold. The next chair that I, uh, I'd like to discuss would be the um, Pride Mobility Jazzy Passport. Very similar look to it. This has been out for quite a while now. Uh, it's a really good folding power wheelchair. Has a 250 pound weight capacity. Um, you've got your joystick that you have a little bit of play where you can adjust it if you need to. It also makes it nice when you're folding it up that it's not just sticking out um, in the way. It has a built-in cup holder that comes with it. The arms do fold up so you can get in and out of the chair. Both these devices allow you to put the remotes on either side. You can put the joystick on the right or left side if you need to. This one also has a pouch in the back where you can put your charger and it also has a little pouch up front that you can put some other things in here. So kind of a nice little feature there. This one, when you go to fold up, has two little buttons, push down just like that. And we are ready to fold up. That's your, what you're dealing with right there. That's the folding part of it. That's all it's going to do. What typically happens, you can fold this down if you need to into here and then fold that in. So it's compact, but that's the folding as much as you're gonna be able to fold that. Uh, again, it works, it's compact, um, and it, it's great for travel use and things like that. Let's take this lever again, just pop it back in play, make your adjustment on your joystick, and put your foot plate down. So, you know, not a bad little device there. Give you a couple little specs on it. 23 and a half overall width. Most of your chairs are between that 23 and 24 and a half inch. You're not gonna have a problem taking the chair, going through door frames, things like that. That's just pretty standard with it. Let's see if I missed any other specifications on here that I need to mention. Your um, overall length is 40 inches on this one and uh, 3.6 miles an hour is the speed range, and which is pretty standard. Between three and a half and four is about what you're gonna get on a power wheelchair. 
Um, the other version that we have um, is the Zoomer. Okay? So the Zoomer it is a folding power wheelchair as well. So it has a real tight turning radius, 24 inch turning radius. Okay? Um, you can use this on multiple surfaces just like you can do these other two. Um, one of the nice features about it is how easy it folds and how compact it folds. So there's a lever right here, okay? I just pull this and this folds down, okay? And now I am ready. That is your width. So you can take this, drag it. It weighs, on the website, they will say it's less than 52. On the box it ships, it says it's 48 pounds. Um, it has a 300 pound weight capacity. A lot of people you will see mention say this weight has a 275 weight capacity. Again, it's more about fitting in between the arms than anything uh, because, yeah, it can handle 300 pounds, but can the individual that weighs 300 pounds fit between the arms? Um, has up to an eight mile range on its battery. It's real easy to take this battery in and out. This pops out. Does have a little compartment underneath here where the charger's at. So you can always have that with you when you need it. Um, again, nice little option there. Um, you can also adjust the uh, joystick from here to here. And the, um, you know, other benefit is just how portable it is. And then the, we really like the footrest version here. So see how those have footrests that are standard. You either have to step around or have them folded up and then push them down. You have to fold it up or push them down. With this, I can rock, go all the way back in the seat and then this moves. So it's a nice little feature when you're getting in and out of the chair. You don't have any obstacles getting in and out. So this is the Zoomer. It does have a, there is a version called the Zinger, which I, the best way to explain it, we don't have it here today. It's like driving a Bobcat or a skid steer. You drive with them, the mechanisms on the side here. Uh, we find that you need to be pretty good with your, your arm movements and things like that to make it work. It's a good little chair. It's not for everybody. We're really just focusing on the, the standard power wheelchairs here. So that's the three versions of the folding powers that we are going over today. The other four options I have are the mobility scooters. So this is the folding mobility scooters that we're gonna go over. Uh, you'll see that we have four different versions. They've all got a few different features and benefits. I'm gonna start out with the Golden Technology Buzz Around Carry-On. This is a scooter that Golden Technology specifically made for the cruise line industry. This scooter can fold up and actually fit under the bed on cruise ships. And so that's why this was made. Um, it's very compact. The one thing about the way this folds is when you, you have to take the seat off, okay? So I'm going to lift this lever right here that unclicks it that allows you to take the seat off. This, the armrests do flip back, and then this does fold down, okay? So you can fold the seat down. Very lightweight. I think the seat's like eight pounds. It's not very heavy at all. Um, you have these two little bolts here. This folds down here. You have this yellow trigger. Squeeze it, and then that folds down. Your basket actually folds up and it's compact. You can lift and drag it. If I'm not mistaken, we're looking at 47 pounds on this, plus I believe it's the eight or 10 pounds on the seat. Let me verify that real quick. Yes, 47 pounds for this. It's actually 12 pounds on the seat. Um, your turning radius is 48 inches here, so pretty good turning radius. It's not wide at all. It has um, a three and a half miles per hour is the average speed, the top speed, with a 300 pound weight capacity. So it's got a lot of uh, uh, fits. 
that work really well. Uh, features, I'm sorry, fits. I said features, but the features and benefits, you can grab it on this side of the handle. So it's very easy to carry. You look at how compact it is from this angle. It's very nice. So we've had a lot of people really like this. We think once the get back and you're able to do some more cruises, this will continue to be a very popular uh, device. Also has a cup holder as well built into it. Um, so real easy to use. Um, and maintain it's, it's simple so I'll put this one back together and I'll go into the next one uh, the other one that we like talking about is going to be the pride uh, fold and go scooter uh, very nice scooter 250 pound weight capacity it's a little smaller a little more compact give me an example I'm 5'8 um, I'm probably you know with the, the way I'm built you're not going to be much taller than maybe 5'9 uh, to sit in this because you, your legs will get a little too high and it won't feel comfortable. The one thing about these folding scooters is you don't have a lot of adjustment on the seat options. Because they fold, they don't have height adjustments. So that's something to keep in mind when you're, you're purchasing one or looking in to purchase one. The way this one folds up, you click this button here, fold this down. By doing that, that lets that disconnect, and then I raise this up. So I've got it where I can push it around and move it around just like that. Now you'll notice on this one right here, this is considered a four-wheel version because it's got the two wheels on the front, but it does have a little bit tighter turning radius. Again, a 250-pound weight capacity Top speed is up to four miles an hour. Your overall length is 37, so it's a sh little bit shorter. Your turning radius is 32 inches, okay? Um, comes in this standard color of white. Uh, it's, it's been really good. We've had a lot of people like it, but again, you're picking up, this overall weight is 51 pounds, okay? What you're dealing with, and then they have two types of batteries. Your sealed lead assets are nine pounds, and then your uh, lithium ion batteries are five pounds. So it's either 56 pounds or 60 pounds is the total weight of this device right here. So you need to think, what can I lift? Can I lift 60 pounds about waist high? Because that's what I'll need to do in order to get this in the trunk of a car or even a back seat. The next device that we have here is the Snap and Go. Um, this has been a great uh, folding scooter for us. It's actually, out of all of these that we'll show today, is the lightest version out there. It is a three-wheel version. Um, you'll see the seat, get this right here. So the seat comes off, little lever here, pull that off. There's a little trigger right there, okay? Push. This actually can, uh, I've got it tightened down. Let me get that off real quick. Yeah, some sort of step over. That folds down. Your seat, I believe, is 15. The total weight of this unit is 33. So you'll see that this is not heavy at all as far as picking up. It's very easy to pick up. It's very compact, but you can do that. So it's a little bit different than some of the units that you see, but it has been really popular when it comes to portability. You can't really beat the portability on, on this device. It, it is, it's just a great item. It works really well. It's got a lithium battery built in, 300 pound weight capacity. When you turn the device on, you'll see that the difference on it, the way this drives is you have a forward Oops, sorry about that. Let me show you here. Forward or reverse, okay? Where the other ones have a trigger, and I'll show you that a little more detailed on the next one, but forward or reverse, and then you have three levels as far as the speed you drive. And I'll get into a little bit of specifics on the speed. Your first speed is three miles an hour. Your second speed is 4.5, and your third is six. 
and it's got a range up to 15 miles as far as that goes. So, you know, you really do have a nice device here that's easy to use. That 300 pound weight capacity is huge, very compact. It also comes with baskets. We don't have them on display right here, but I do have a good image that I'll show you. Yeah. You can put baskets all over this. It comes with a pouch on the front that you saw just a minute ago. So you've got a couple options with either the baskets. They come standard with this and the pouch. Um, flip up armrests on the seat. The seat does swivel as well. And you do have a little bit of ability to adjust the seat width. Um, so this has a little bit of an option there when it comes to seat width. Keep that in mind when you do this. Again, this is the Snap and Go, and it's made by Glion. All right, so that's the third one there. Our next one here is, we get this a lot, this is popular, this is the Transformer by Enhanced Mobility. One of the things that this stands out, uh, or that makes this device stand out, is that this has a remote that automatically folds the chair. So, we, oh, I'm sorry, let me turn this on real quick. So I can fold the chair just by pushing the button on the remote. Now what I tell people is, this is a great little item, you can fold it up and you can do some stuff like that, but if you can't fold the device up yourself, there's a great chance you can't pick the device up either. So keep that in mind. I mean, the folding part, it's nice, it's great. We have a lot of people that buy this and want this, but if you can't fold it, you probably can't pick it up. Your weight on this device, um, I believe is 53 pounds with the battery, okay? You do have um, a 300 pound weight capacity on this. Maximum speed is 3.7 miles an hour. Your range is 13.5. And then you're going to look at your overall length is 37.4 and your overall width with the armrest are 22.5. All of these mobility scooters are under, I think, 24 and a half as far as the width. So you won't have a problem going through any type of door frame or thing like that. It's gonna work really easy. They've got up to a 35 mile range per charge. Again, that's what they test them on. Never had a customer go 35 miles. To be honest with you, it's just, it's, it's crazy the amount of mileage it goes. You shouldn't have to worry about battery life or anything like that with this device here. It's really nice. Again, it's got an adjustable tiller here, so you can push this up or down. And so that's kind of a feature. I'll, I'll go ahead and, and put it back down, show you how it folds down as well. And so you'll see you do have flip back armrest. This is where I was mentioning how you had the forward and reverse, and then you just push a button where here, you can go forward or reverse, which is most common. This does have a backup button or a backup sound when you do that. Same speed dial, everything else is very similar to these four. But we wanted to give you a video to show you the different versions and help you make a good decision when ordering a folding mobility scooter or a folding power chair. You can get these at allstarmedicalllc.com. You can give us a call at 615-730-9438. We'll be glad to help. We do know the options and, and the best benefits for you and can talk you through maybe which one to get. We offer financing options that we have available. So again, you can call us at 615-730-9438 or visit us online at allstarmedicalllc.com. Thanks and have a great day.